going on guys? She Cage 352 here and today I have something interesting to talk to you about today. Now I was just on the PlayStation Store, I think it was uh, about last night, um, and I noticed that there was a pre-order for Kingdom Hearts 2.8 Final Chapter Prologue. Yeah, <laughs> in the PlayStation Store. Um, I told Alpha Keyblade about it. He's like, yeah, where have you been? It came out the other day. I'm like, what? How did I not know about this? <laughs> um, yeah, it's pretty cool. I like the fact that you can actually pre-order it on the PlayStation Store. Um, and, I mean, it just makes sense to me. Um, I mean, Final Fantasy XV is up there. You know, Last Guardian is up there, and, you know, God knows we've been... I know some people who, you know, actually enjoy the Last Guardian... See, you know, the the Last Guardian game that, you know, you know that's up there, and then... I mean, we've got f the regular Final Fantasy XV, and then we got, like, the Final, F Final Fantasy XV Premium, you know, along with the Season Pass. So, why shouldn't Kingdom Hearts be up on the store, right? You know, and um, I think this is a very good move on Square Enix's part uh, because they they need to cater to the you know the America and and uh, you know and UK and all of them uh, you know a little bit more so than they do to people in Japan because people in Japan get everything first. Um, I do not know if the theme is available with this pre-order. I know in Japan, if you pre-order it on the PlayStation Store, uh, you will get a theme. But I don't think we're. I, I don't know if if people in America will get the theme. Uh, I'm I'm not really sure about that. Um, I'm kind of waiting to see if someone else pre-orders it and then they get the theme and then we'll have our answer um but even still even still besides that um I think that's still just pretty cool because you know it's getting people who maybe don't know the series too well um and they don't really want to go out and buy you know and, and buy the first one just to play it, you know what I mean? <laughs> they can they can play this one, and if they like it, then they'll most likely want to go out and buy the rest, you know. And that also makes me wonder if uh like 1.5 and 2.5. That also makes me wonder uh, once that is you know available to be released. Um, if that will be coming to the downloadable store as well. Um, because, I mean, this is a really big first for Kingdom Hearts to be on the PlayStation Store because never before has it been on the PlayStation Store like, at all, ever. <laughs> and, um, you know, just the fact that, that it is there, it kind of makes me go, huh. I wonder if, you know, if, like I said, if 1.5 and 2.5, or hell, even 3, would be downloadable uh, once that is released. Because, um, you know, I mean, Square Enix, they, we, you know by now, they take their time with their content to put out really good games. Um, but, you know, they're also all about that money, you know? <laughs> you know what I mean? They want to... You know, they want to make it really good and then, you know, put it out there for like, say, 60 bucks in the store, um, and, or, you know, 59.99 or whatever, you know, um, because, I mean, the last game, you know, the last few games that have come out have only been, what, like, $40 at the most, I think, um, Maybe more if you were getting some sort of special edition or whatever, but you know they're 
they're reasonably priced, you know, and um, you know, in the store, uh, 2.8 is about, I think, it's at least, you know, 50, 60 dollars. Um, but I mean, that's a given anyway, because I mean, everything is always more expensive in the PlayStation Store. But, but still, you know, the, like I said, the fact that it's in there and it will entice people to maybe, you know, people who maybe haven't played Kingdom Hearts at all, you know, will, uh, will, you know, download it and try it out, and if they like it, they'll go out and get the rest of the games. Um, and, I mean, I just, I think that's really cool. I like, I like that idea, you know, putting it in the store for other people to, to buy, you know, and, um, and like I said, when it comes to 2.5 uh, and you know 1.5 and 2.5, it makes me wonder if they would be downloadable as well. Uh, I don't, I don't honestly think so. Only because you know they're remasters, um, so I don't, I don't think they would be. But that would be kind of interesting though to have. To, you know to have those on the PlayStation Store but like I said though you know they're remasters of 1 and 2 and uh, Chain of Memories and you know uh, 3 Fight of 8 or 2 and everything and Birth by Sleep so I, I don't I don't think I don't think they would be on the PlayStation Store but I mean we can all hope <laughs> you know maybe throw in some Kingdom Hearts avatars in there huh huh yeah yeah, that'd be nice, wouldn't it? I think it would. I I would I I could I could uh, I would buy a, a Shion avatar. Shit, if they want to throw in a whole pack of them for you know five bucks, I'll buy I'll buy those. You know, wink wink nudge nudge. <coughs> Do it. <laughs> but um no, all serious all seriousness though. Um. I really like the fact that this is in the PlayStation Store. Like I said, um, it's a great thing to actually have this in the PlayStation Store now because, you know, people up until now have had to play it on PS3, um, and and now it, you know this is going to be on the PS4. Kingdom Hearts 3 is going to be on the PS4, obviously. Uh, 1.5 and 2.5 is going to be on the PS4. Uh, you know, we're going to have the whole series on the PS4. Um, so, you know, hopefully at some point they will make, maybe, 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 just maybe, make it all downloadable for people if they don't want to go out and buy discs. Um, I know me personally, I would want a disc just because it's one of my all-time favorite games and I want to I want to have it all together in a disc you know but I mean if it came with the theme I would I mean I would honestly buy it twice if I if I really wanted to I mean I could so <laughs> you know I mean I, I call me crazy but I mean you know I mean shit if it's coming with it like if you put out something on the PS4 for Kingdom Hearts, okay, you know that the fans, you know they're going to flock to it. Um, especially the people who maybe can't get out right now and go get something, you know, but maybe they got a network card or something and they're like, oh, I have money on my PS4, I'll just download it instead, you know what I mean? Um, but still, that's pretty cool. And if you wanted, you know, and if they really wanted to, uh, like, let me give you an example. Like, uh, World of Final Fantasy is going to be putting out a uh, little chibi form of Sora from Dream Drop Distance um, as a summon, uh, and that'll be, you know, that'll that'll be downloadable content, you know, for that game. If they were to come out with something, like some sort of, uh, premium edition 
of Kingdom Heart of uh, of like 2.5 or you know 1.5 and 2.5 on the PS4 or maybe in, maybe a premium edition of 2.8. Uh, you know where it would come with let's do, let's just you know let's just imagine for just a second it would come with a you know obviously the game and then it would be like a theme and maybe an avatar pack you know for let's say let's say 30 bucks i'd buy it wouldn't you because you're getting the game a theme and and kingdom hearts avatars i mean I don't know if they'd ever come out with Kingdom Hearts avatars, but that would be something to think about because you know that people will get will they'll buy them, you know. I mean, hell, I I've had a little uh, I've had a crown as my as my PS3 avatar for years because it reminds me of Kingdom Hearts. And if it, they were to come out with Kingdom Hearts avatars, that would just make my friggin' day. <laughs> And you know people will buy it because of the huge fan base. Um, I mean, shit, I'm pretty sure that somewhere in Japan there are Kingdom Hearts avatars for people. And I know that because they're Japan and they get everything first. <laughs> you know, I, I just, I know it. I can feel it. Somewhere out there, there is someone on the PlayStation Network with the Kingdom Hearts avatar. <laughs> you know? And, and that would just be really cool if they were to come out with something like that. Some sort of special edition or whatever and add in a theme and, you know, an avatars. Or not even a theme, maybe just avatars. That That's fine too. Um, that would be pretty cool. So, anyway guys, I hope you all have enjoyed. Um, let me know what you think. Are you going to get it on disc or are you going to get it on the download? Or are you going to go crazy with it and get both because you think it might come with the theme? Like I said, I don't know if it's coming with the theme if you pre-order it. Um, that has yet to be seen or heard. Um, this is just my thoughts on it. You know, I don't really know. Um, I just saw that in the store and, you know, just kind of, you know, had to take a moment because I was like, oh my. <laughs> um, you know, what do you think? Are you going to get it on disc download or are you going to wait and see if it has a theme on it and then get it or are you going to get it twice <laughs> just to have both? Um, I personally will probably go over the disc. Um, I, I, when it comes to Kingdom Hearts, I like the disc and I would like to have an actual disc to play on the PS4 and so you know that's just me um hope you guys have enjoyed let me know what you think on this topic do you think it's a good idea to be put on the playstation store you know to you know get more people into this game and uh, and everything and um make sure to leave a like if you can because that would be great hope you guys have enjoyed and i will see you all next time <laughs>